Uh, I'll start first with the Kemet, interesting one of Kemet, because I know people have been asking questions and it's been all over again. Um, it's only fair that when people look at the team and make suggestions, especially the media, because you guys set the tone uh, and place players for us, which is very interesting. Sometimes it makes sense, sometimes it does make sense, but it's not uh, sometimes doable because uh, if you look at Kemet's position and you look at the players in his position and the role that he plays at the moment, if I bring Kemet here, or if the coach says Kemet must come here now, obviously it means one player must be sacrificed in that position. And if you look at the team last season and if you look at the team that we have now here, we spoke about the harmony. He's a good player, he's a talented player, he's a quality player, yes. Uh, who do I remove from that position? coach, if, 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 if the coach says, yes, I want him here. If he comes from his team, being number one player, regular player in his team, will he be prepared to come and sit on the bench and fight for the position the Kansas Chiefs? Um, you know, those are questions we ask ourselves. And we have to do justice to ourselves and say, do we really need Kemi to come and sit on the bench at Kansas Chiefs? Do we really need him to come to Kansas Chiefs? It's a question that we all ask ourselves. Does the coach need that type of a player? That the coach will answer, but I think we've had discussions along that. And finally, we, we agreed that we're not going to go for Kemet Erasmus. Uh, the issue of Jimita, who I think, firstly, um, I'd, I'd, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd put uh, or place my dis 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 displeasure on how Jimmy handled the matter, because uh, it's a normal business. When a contract comes to an end, there's two parties that need to sit and negotiate and discuss. Once more, we, we sat with the coaches, with the coach, we sat and looked at uh, his situation. Jimmy played for us for six, a couple of years, I don't know how many years? Six, whatever years. Did a good job for us, he was a captain, and uh, yeah, but he was a great player, but he got injured, he was out of the, the team for a season. And uh, the team did well with uh, acquiring other players in that position because uh, you know, we were lacking that position. And uh, he's 32 now, 33. His contract is up. He's never played. He's never for the whole season. Is it fair for us to renew his contract and put him on the bench at that age? Is it professional? Uh, we looked at various factors. Some of the issues are kind of deliberate because as professionals, there are certain things that we we discuss as, as professionals and then they end up and we come and we can lead to an agreement to say we're not actually renewing your contract. So what, I just made a mere example of one of the factors to say, is it fair for, we always look at the interest of, of the team before we look at any other issue. Is it fair for us to keep players who are not going to be playing and renewing contracts for the sake of renewing a contract? It's not fair. We had discussions on other matters relating to you know, his career going forward and everything. I mean, we've done, we've, we've played our part in developing Jimmy from an educational point of view and everything. I think when he left, we did a statement, joint statement with him where we clarified that uh, we, we parted ways and we, kept, we were surprised to hear him going on the radios and all this, uh, with all these allegations. But I think for us as professionals, we normally when we part ways with somebody, don't go to the media and, and start talking you know, a lot of things about the person. We respect people's uh, future and careers. And we parted ways that we can do with Jimmy according to what we signed with him. 